Hey, what's going on? It's Mr. Mario. Hoping I can help some of you guys out with this video. Uh, this is actually a whole type of new video. Um, first off, just saying, as you can see, my voice is probably very different on here. It's because I went out and I bought a somewhat proper mic just so I can do my YouTube stuff. So I hope you all are happy. I'm doing this for you. Um, second, I will also be actually recording my laptop screen instead of just using my camcorder. Now, I'm using Cam Studio. If anybody has a program out there that they recommend that's better, please drop a comment down below or please message me. Um, I'm just using this right now because it was simple. I've used it before and it served what it needed, but I think I can run something that's much better. So if anyone has anything good, just go ahead and recommend it. Anyways, this video is for those people who want to hack up their Final Fantasy 13 save, whether you're having trouble with the game, or this is right around, well, Final Fantasy 13 2 is right around the corner. So if you want to go ahead, pick up the old game, hack up your save, burn through it in about 15, 20 hours to get the story, you can do that to prepare for the sequel. Anyways, I hope you all have fun with this. Alright, so as you can see here, got my desktop recording, and there are going to be a few files that you're going to need to start off. First, you're going to need some type of modifying tool, I use Horizon, and of course you're going to need the Final Fantasy 13 save editor. If this doesn't sound very good, I'm sorry, it's almost 2 in the morning right now. I'm using Horizon just because I like it more, I like its UI more, and I'm happy with it. Now, what we need to do is we need to transfer the file, our save file, off of our device which is what I'm doing right now so what you need to do is load up your device already go ahead and find the save file you want and you're going to need to right click it and extract the file I'm just going to save it to my desktop right now once we got that set up we're going to immediately want to open up the Final Fantasy 13 save editor should be pretty self-explanatory pretty basic UI anybody can use it so it's gonna give us this nice little splash screen now there are a few things you're going to need to know first off well you can see I'm opening up the file here but first off you are going to need to make sure if you're hacking a character you can only hack a character that you've already played as okay now if you want to you can go in and hack all the characters right now but I've only played as lightning and Zash I think that's the name that's how you say it so if I hack up any other character right now I can give them max stats if I want to and it will just, the game will treat it like I never hacked it. Another thing is, you might not want to level up a whole lot because I've heard from people if you level up too fast, the game will be impossible later. And finally, really, you don't want to add too many mods in there. Um, if you add too many mods, you can risk either corrupting your save or you can crash the whole game. There have been reports of that. I just edited my stamp, well my, not my stamina, my strength, my magic, my health. I gave myself all the items. I gave myself unlimited gill, all that stuff. Um, another thing, if you give yourself max items, do not pick up any of the items in the land because when you go in the, into the game, you'll have every item, they'll be unlimited, they'll be about 6,000 something in your inventory. If you pick up that item, you are going to get reset down to 99 for that item and it won't, won't be infinite. Once we save it there, you're going to have to go in and it's in your folder for the Final Fantasy 13 save. Um, and there's a folder there called modded ff13 save so it's in there what I did I just drag and dropped it back into there rehashed it again can never hurt once you're done with that go ahead find your modded save pick your profile that it belongs to inject it in there and I'm overriding it you're done that's it go ahead pull out your flash drive throw it back in your Xbox you're good to go